Hey guys, welcome back. I'm sure you are all eager to get the signal R working. So we're going to do that in this video. We're going to worry a little bit less about the syntax and we'll get to that later. But overall, it's not too complicated. So to start, we need to open a connection to the signal R hub. So the way we do that is put a dollar sign dot connection dot hub dot start. So this is basically just making a connection to signal R. How do you know if it actually worked or not? Well, you can put another dot and then put done. And then what if it fails? You can put another dot and put fail. And then you end the statement. <laughs> it's quite the, uh, the long statement, but overall it's not too bad. If it works, we want to run a function. And if it fails, we want to run a function. And just so you know how I'm typing this out, you type function, then open and close the parentheses, space, open and close the curly braces, and it will format it all for you. So just make sure you got the syntax exactly right because JavaScript is a little more uh, quiet about errors. Whereas C Sharp, it won't even compile. JavaScript might not say exactly what you're expecting and it might not do anything at all. So just make sure you got it exactly right. Now, basically, this is going to open a connection. If it works, it's going to run this function. And if it fails, it's going to run this function. Well, right now, these functions aren't doing anything. So where do we tell the functions to do something? Well, we always tell the functions to do something inside of the curly braces. So what we're going to do is do what's known as a console log. So put console.log, and this is a method so what you want to do is just pass in some data pass in a string such as it worked and there's another way we can show data and that's using an alert which we talked about in the last video so within here you can say error all right so why did i choose to use a console log when it worked but only an alert when it failed well the difference between the two is that a console log is a little more quiet and subtle. For example, if it works, we don't need to make a huge announcement, hey, it's working, and make a little box pop up on the screen. That's not what we want to do. But if it's failing, it's more of an issue. In that case, we probably want to make a pop up. So I just changed my browser to Microsoft Edge because that's the browser I'll be using. And now let's give it a run and see how it works out. Okay, well, it really didn't do much. Did it work? Um, I'm assuming it did. That's because a console log, the only way you can see it is by right clicking and going to inspect element. And then right here, there's this little console button. That is going to show us our console. Let's give it a quick refresh. And it worked. <laughs> yes. <sighs> only like 15 or so videos in, we finally connected to Signal R. So it's been uh, quite the adventure. <laughs> That's all for this video, and we'll continue this process in the next video. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you then.